Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and I'm back again. I'm determined to see whether this is really going to fall over at any point. So I'm back with my MacBook Air. If you saw the earlier video I did today, 1081, 1.8, 4 gigabytes. I'm running 1021 because that's the version I installed on this, and I need to install 10.3, but this is running the sort of the pre release version, 1021 on here. And I've set it. Playback engine, 64 samples, three processors, 99%. And then I've created 64 tracks coming in. Now, somebody said the other day, well, recording blank doesn't mean anything. So, actually, you're wrong when you say that, but we're going to record actually audio anyway. So, I'm going to just, I've got, I've got uh, my iPod coming in, recording to all 64 tracks. So, what I've set up, so you know is two mono inputs, so I've got 64 mono tracks, and then I've duplicated them. They've all got the same input coming in, A3 and A4 all the way in, 64 inputs. And what we're going to do is we're going to record audio, for those of you that think recording blank audio doesn't actually do anything, so we actually record audio to every track at 64 samples. And also we have this background process of screen flow running, which is capturing my screen, just to see what happens. So here goes the test. So let's see what happens. Put it in record. And we're off. We'll start the audio going now on my iPod. You are holding on to me. So that's now coming in. Just see it on the input tracks. And you are running to me, Lord. So as you can see, voice is allocated to 64, which means there's 64 tracks being recorded. See so the CPU usage going on there. And I wait, wait for the band to come in to get to even more density into the track. Now you can see as well that I've muted other tracks, and I've muted other tracks on purpose because uh, if if you had the combined input of 64 tracks coming in back out to the output bus, then that would sound pretty crap. So we're monitoring just the two stereo channels, but we're actually recording 64 tracks of audio on an unqualified MacBook Air, an i5, with the new Thunderbolt box through an Omni interface and just to see if it'll work, and it's 64 samples, because actually what happened is I made the video the other day, then I got a tip off from one of the guys at Avid that said, you know Russ, you could record 64 tracks at 64 samples. And uh, I wanted to see what would happen, so here we go. So it's it's going, it's just uh, pretty rock solid at the moment. So the disc cache going. Still going down. See them all going down. Tracks, 64 tracks of audio. 64 samples. So, let's stop that. Stop the input. Take them all out of uh, input and monitoring and record. And there we are now. Well, let's just play one and two back to you, but they're all going to be exactly the same. There's just two story pairs duplicated 30 times. There we go. Timeline cache is kicked in. So there we go, Thunderbolt, 64 channels, recording something for those of you that think that recording nothing actually doesn't do anything, well it does, but anyway, for those of you that were doubting that, we've now recorded 64 channels of real audio through an Omnibox into Pro Tools on an unqualified MacBook Air via the Thunderbolt box, and I have to say, my continued efforts to break it aren't working, so uh, perhaps I'll get 128 tracks, who knows, but 64 tracks for God's sake, that's uh, a seriously live gig or an entire orchestra. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.